Welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been watching the last two videos so you'll know what's going on. If you haven't, I will link them at the end of this. October, my favorite month, one of my favorite months, but mm, probably my favorite month. We are doing 31 days of indie makeup brands and today we are talking about Alien Cosmetics. I have many, 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 many Alien palettes. I decided I wanted to feature these two because this is the newest. This is Alien Cosmetics and Sydney Nicole, Hauntingly Glamorous. I love the pinup spooky cover on this. I did already show this palette in the unboxing that I did last night. I'm, I'm not sure when this is going. This is going up Saturday, so yesterday morning. I just love these shades. I can't wait to put these on because this is one of those palettes where I think until you hold it in your hands and you see it in person, you can't appreciate the depth to it. I think one of the things that throws it off on camera is this weird periwinkle packaging, which I don't hate. And I love that the words are in this like crazy lime green metallic, which is so cool. I love the whole aesthetic, but I think when you see it on camera, this shade that the palette is made out of reads funny and it makes the shades not look as cool as they are in person. I hope all that makes sense. Am I confusing you yet? Oh, <laughs> I am Mare. I am a completely addicted to indie makeup person. I am a former makeup artist and hairstylist. I do all kinds of things on my channel. This month, however, I am focusing on my passion for makeup, especially indie makeup, especially spooky indie makeup. And my looks won't always be spooky. I'm not always going to do extreme makeup every day here. So if that's what you're looking for, ain't going to happen. I want to do some looks that are, I'm going to call it day goth, shopping goth. I do have to go to the grocery store. Today I'm doing shopping goth, which is why I chose this palette. Probably one of my favorite palettes of my life, of my existence. Don't Be Jelly by Alien. These are all multi-chromes. These are so stunning. I don't know if you could see the multi-chrome shift in these just on the camera. I will try to drop in some other footage of it, but these are so lovely. I love every shade in here. They don't have names. They just say DBJ, don't be jelly. One, DBJ, two, DBJ, three. If you can get this palette, I know it's very pricey, but if you can afford it, you can get your hands on it. I don't think I would trade this for anything. I would never declutter this. I would never give it away. I, no, I would never throw, oh, throwing it away. Don't even get me started. I would cry. This is just everything about it. It's very me. I love the shades on the front. I love jellyfish. I I'm fascinated by them. I've always loved them. So everything about this palette, I love. And I think having these two play together would just be amazing. I'm going to have to do multiple looks with this. Maybe I'll do some extra looks on my Instagram as a bonus this month because I'm kind of in love with these two together. So let's see what we can do. I do already have my foundation, my contour, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. This is going to be pretty much every day this month. I am not going to do my full face because it just takes too long. I want this to be about the palettes and the lip products or whatever I'm showing, which reminds me, I want to try this mascara. This is a Polish brand, Inglot, if you didn't know. I did not know. I had heard of them. I knew they were really good. Didn't know they were Polish. So cool. Need to try that. Every single thing I'm wearing is not going to be an indie brand. I am focusing on mostly indie palettes. And please go back and watch my video from yesterday because once again, I'm going to be using my crease piece. I'm really excited. I, I'm kind of having fun with this. You're going to see this in like every video probably as I'm just doing this because I'm so excited. I'm feeling greens and blues. I'm feeling, I'm feeling green. It's not easy being green. I think we're going to have to do green. Oh, I have a hip dot brush. Maybe we'll use this one. So we're going to set Don't Be Jelly aside for the moment. God, the first one I want to do is Unhappy Darling. That is not green at all. That is purple. I think I'm going to start with blood curdling. Oh. Don't you hate it when palettes have really cool pressings and you have to go in and screw them all up? I mean, I know the whole thing is to use the palette, but at the same time, you know, uh, there goes the tombstone. So this is kind of a light teal. It almost looks like Tiffany blue with a little bit more green to it. If you missed the first video, which was Wicked Sisters Cosmetics, what you do with this guy is you place it where you want to place it and you push and you apply your shade. Oh, and if you did see my video from yesterday, you'll notice that 
the crease piece does get, okay, watch. <gasps> Ooh, isn't that cool? Oh, that one came out really nice. Ooh, this came out better than yesterday. So today, instead of the cat eye, I am using the round crease piece. This comes with three different little attachments to it. It has a round, an almond, and a winged. Yesterday I did winged. Today I'm doing round, and boy do I like this round one. This may be my favorite. I wanted something to do a really high faux, because I do have the hoodie eyes. You can take the girl out of Detroit, but you can't take Detroit out of the girl. Or boy. Or anyone. Wow. Where I seem to have a little bit of a problem with this is just on the very outer corner. But overall, not bad, huh? Isn't that pretty cool? I love this. Oh, so I was saying, so yesterday, this had brown all over it from the Wicked Sisters look I did. All I did was take some micellar water on a cotton ball, cleaned it off, perfect. I wonder how long these last, and I have to look at the website and see, I'm sure you can buy replacements for these. I will have to look and find out because I really like these. So that was um, First Shade Blood Curdling. I think we're gonna go in and darken it up with Movie Macabre. Ma -ma 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 Mitchell. I'm using a little Mitchell brush. So we're going to go in with Movie Macabre, which is this darker bluish green right side. And these do have round R on them. So make sure you're using the right one. Now I have to place it in the same place. Make sure you do that and don't move it. And I'm just going to deepen up a little bit here. See how easy that is? Is that not the coolest thing? Oh my God. This makes eye makeup so easy. I am so glad I got this in time for October. You're gonna be seeing this thing a lot around here. I am kind of obsessed with it. Screw that whole like all you need is a spoon thing. And I like you could just place it back on and there we go. Uh, look how fast this look is coming along. Okay, so we're done with this. Done, that's it. I think we're gonna go with Glamour Ghoul because I wanna get some real color going on here. Um, Where are we gonna put, where are we gonna put? Let's start here. I did use a really good primer with this. I always joke about ColourPop, like everyone knows ColourPop is Fallout Central. I think I've rarely used a ColourPop palette that didn't have like major fallout, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying. I can't stop looking at this. This is so cool. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just so emotional. It's coming out so well. I really want to stick with these. Let's, I'm, I'm going to control myself. You know, I go crazy. Less is more, less is more. I'm going in with pale and mysterious. Just like me. No, I'm not that mysterious. I just want a little bit right up here. Oh, the blend, the blend, the blend. The blend with Alien Cosmetics. Trying to get right in the camera so you can just watch this, watch this happen. Do you see it? Just these three shades just, they just blend together so well. Jeez, Morphe, okay. I don't mean to shade Morphe brushes right now, but I'm losing some hairs on this brush and I can't right now. We're gonna switch to my OMFG brush. Look, there's little hairs from my Morphe brush all over my face. Bruh. That's not cool. Okay, we're gonna switch to my OMFG brush, which is superior. And let's get a little bit of Pale and Mysterious over this one on the side. I just can't get over how nicely these blend. with so little effort, that's when you know that a shadow is good. I mean, <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I'm just bringing this down a little bit. There we go. 
Let's do a little bit of Lily. Oh, the shadow is so pretty. This is definitely a duochrome. It's, oh yeah, that's, can you see that on my thumb right there? Watch this happen in real time. Oh my God, it looks white and I hope it's showing up on camera. Oh, it's so pretty. I just love colors like this, love them so much. You know, I'm not using my computer for my monitor on these videos going through the month. I might play around with it. Right now I'm just having fun playing with makeup and trying these things out. Look at that inner corner. Oh, okay, I think we need to do just a little bit of Lily right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm barely putting this on and it's just... Now that is a blend. That is a crazy blend right there. This is not just, I'm not gonna say that I'm unskilled at this because I am a retired makeup artist, but I love when there is a formula like this that it makes you look like you're a really good makeup artist because it's so easy to use. I am in love with these shades. Okay, I'm gonna put this palette away. Thank you. Sydney and Alien for this palette. We are going to do the lid with these. I do want to add a little bit of glitter primer onto my lid. I do have eye primer on. I think it's gonna be okay, but I just want to give it that extra prime because we don't want this stuff coming off. Dogs barking. If you watch my videos often, you know, there's always a rooster crowing, ducks quacking, or dogs barking. It's just what happens around here. I'm going to go with DBJ4. I'm going to try this brush, but I may switch and just use my finger. If you know me, I do that all the time. No, finger. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Oh my God, look at that duochrome. Trio chrome, bazillion chrome. Wow. I really wanna get it up here. And I love when it turns and you see the purple in it. It looks so good. <laughs> I do want to see if I can bring it out on the wing on the corner a little bit. Oh my God, I'm already panning this one. I've played with this one a lot. Oh no, I can't pan it yet. I just saw some pan in the bottom and I'm freaking out because I love the shade. I think with this look too, I'm not going to do a lot of lower liner. I think I might do this on lower liner. I'll do a uh, DBJ3. So there's that side. Let's do this one. On my nice wrinkly eye. My left eye is much more wrinkled than my right eye. I have a really bad, a really bad vision in my left eye. And it seems like it's always, my whole life it's always caused a problem where my left eye is a little more droopy which is why I'll never be a million subscriber channel beauty guru because I have a droopy eye. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I think everyone should embrace their flaws. Don't you? I don't trust people who are too perfect. <laughs> They're sus. It's sus. You're too perfect. I've actually thought about getting um, 
eyelid surgery to get this lifted. Not as a vanity thing, but just as it bothers me the way it droops. Sometimes when my eyelid droops a little bit, it just interferes with my vision even more. And I hate it. it it's really uncomfortable. So let me check this one again. Oh yeah, that's going underneath. DBJ3. I'm gonna go under with that. This is a very weird duochrome, but I think it's gonna be perfect with this. Nice. I think that's okay. It's a little darker than I was thinking, but I think it's gonna work out by the time I get the lashes on and everything else. Why do I keep saying duochromes? These have like 50 shades in them. 50 shades of green, blue, black, purple. I could just do my eyes every day with this palette. Oh my God. For real. Look at this. I mean, this is just, this is crazy. It's too pretty. It's too pretty. I can't, it's too pretty. No, I'm not going to do it. See, the, I wanted to put this pink somewhere. Here's my advice. Don't overdo it. You want to do every color, but look how pretty that is. I just want to smoke this out a little bit more so it's not too harsh of a line. There we go. I think I love it. I'm just doing a little bit of cleaning up. Should we just chit chat while I'm cleaning up? So what do you think of these palettes? I think they're amazing. So do you want to try these? I know they are very, very pricey. I will put the links below. A lot of times you do have to like pre-order these. You know this pink, there's a little bit of the pink and I am putting it just on the outside corner. And I'm doing almost like a little bit of a wing with it, and it's very pretty. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I didn't ruin it. I just realized I have like no decent lash glue right now. I think I'm out of my OMFG. I'm not sure if I am or not. My OMFG is my absolute favorite. I'm going to get the glue on these. Again, I said this yesterday. I get the glue on and then I let it dry for a little bit while I throw my mascara on. So my glue is drying on my lashes and I have my Inglot I just started putting on and oh my god, I almost feel like I don't need lashes with this, look. I don't know, look. I mean it kind of looks pretty without. Am I going to not put lashes? I mean, I don't always wear lashes. I usually don't. I can't tell if the lashes will add to this or take away from it. I almost think the lashes I chose might be too big. Honestly, I'm liking my own lashes. I am in love with this Inglot mascara. I mean, my lashes are looking really nice without false lashes on. I think I'm not going to wear them. <gasps> okay, you know you have a good mascara when you do not need to put... Look at this. Well, Fenty Full Frontal was my favorite mascara. We have a new contender, the Inglot false lash effect mascara false lash effect hello i don't need false lashes now because i have false lash effect okay so i put glue on my lashes and now i'm not even going to need them which is honestly fine by me i didn't even curl my lashes did you see that i didn't even curl these this is just how it looks this is crazy wow okay Highly recommend the Inglot False Lash Effect Mascara. I actually got this in a Beauty Bay box in summer. Where has this been all my life? See, this is why you have to try all these indie brands. Inglot, I-N-G-L-O-T, False Lash Effect. I'm not even putting false lashes on. Blush. <gasps> 
this is so pretty, I don't want to take away from it. So we're going light, and now I'm rethinking the lip again. <laughs> this is so silly. You know, sometimes you have a plan and you're like, I know exactly what I want to do. And then you go, yeah, maybe not. I think, see, I'm thinking like the corally, the corally kind of tones. I think we're going to do stargaze. I do this one a lot. I can tell I always do this one. Oh, yeah, this was a good choice. I think I have the perfect highlighter. I don't want to go crazy with the highlighter either because there is a lot going on on these eyes. I want to do just a little bit of bronzer. I just want to really like... Might look crazy. Don't worry, I'm going to blend it in. It's going to blend. And it's all up in my blonde hair. I really should have pushed my hair back a little bit better. If you are wondering why my hair is not a new shade yet, even though I hit 400 subs, I'm technically doing it for the 400 sub giveaway. That's when you will see my brand new hair color. So that will be next Monday. It's a year old. It still smells like candy corn. Oh, it's so good. I'm just gonna put that really light. It's this really pretty peachy gold, and I'm just gonna, I don't wanna go cuckoo with it because of the eyes, so a little bit of blend and That ought to do it for the highlighters. That's OMFG Candy Corn. They do limited edition shades. That was This was one of the shades last year, along with Slayer Queens, which I still love. Now we have to choose a lip shade. I'm going to go get it. This is a copacetic gloss, and it is like super peachy gold. And this is all I'm going to wear on my lips, I think. Oh, my God. It smells so good. It smells like cupcakes. I just want to keep putting this on because it smells so good. See how that picks up the gold and the peach from that? Love. Mm. And we're done. Let's review our indies for today. I use the Midas Cosmetics Dawn Palette for some contour bronzing. I use Lunar Beauty. Moon Prism Blush, Copacetic Gloss, OMFG Highlighter, Inglot False Lash Effect Mascara, my new find of the year, I believe, and this look featuring Alien Cosmetics, the Sydney Nicole X Alien, and the Don't Be Jelly. And there is the finished look. I love it. I love this. I am ready to go out to the store, do some shopping. I did also use the NYX Glitter Glue and my eye primer was the Elf Putty Primer. So those are drugstore brands, easy to find. I use both of those as primers. You know what primer I used today that was interesting? I used the Rare Beauty Primer. I got a sample of it. So I used Rare Beauty Primer. It's illuminating, so it is very, very sparkly and gold. But I used that and I like it. It's not bad. It's not very sticky. It's very illuminating. And I, I did a tinted veil, like tinted moisturizer over it. So it worked really well with that. And again, the Winky Lux White Tea Tinted Veil in shade Light. Not fair. Like, I love this bottle though. I just love this. I really like this formula too. I'm trying to finish this up, but good stuff. Love them. Thank you for watching and checking this look out today. This is my first time really going crazy with the Don't Be Jelly palette. I will be using it a lot more. Let's take one more look at this gorgeousness. Oh my God. I just want to look at it. It's, it's just so cool. <laughs> Uh, congratulations on a gorgeous palette. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is. But guess what? It'll be tomorrow. Another independent brand or many independent brands all month long. Swatches and finished look pictures will be on my Instagram. That's below. Hey, if you want to mail me anything for Halloween, that's below as well. <laughs> Don't feel pressured. The last thing I need is more sweets. Anyway, thanks a lot. I love you. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.